Hello and welcome again to the 2013 International Boston Seafood Show, produced by Diversified Business Communications and sponsored by Seafood Business Magazine and SeafoodSource.com. I'm Sean Murphy, editor of Seafood Source, and I'm here with Soren Kaplan, who just uh, delivered the keynote address at the conference, and uh, thanks for taking a few minutes to talk to us. It's a pleasure, Sean. Now, you, uh, I think uh, you could probably sum up your whole uh, presentation in one word, innovation. That was the big uh, key word there. And you were talking about a couple of examples like Apple, who, uh, let me talk to you about the, the role of the market in all of this. Now, Apple is, as you pointed out, uh, they're pretty famous for not necessarily doing a lot of market research. They kind of do their own thing, you know, and yet they still remain successful and innovative. Then you talked about uh, companies like uh, uh, Four Seasons Hotels, which uh, led to, an, they had an innovation that came right out of direct feedback from the customers. How can people uh, know when they should should be listening to the customers and using that to feed their innovative ideas and when they should just kind of back off and do their own thing? Great question. I think for me, the, um, the, the key point is to listen to what the breakthrough is you want to create, the game changer you want to create for the market, for the industry, mm -hmm. kind of your, your vision and the problem you're solving. Um, fall in love with the problem you're solving and your vision and not the solution. So what I mean by that is the Apple example is a great one where you know not everybody has a Steve Jobs at the helm, right. uh, so you know they went after it just kind of full force. I think more realistically for a lot of the smaller companies, you need to know kind of what you want to do with the market, but then you need to get out there with a little bit of an experiment. You need mm -hmm. to get, kind of do some trial and error and learn about what works and what doesn't with that customer feedback. Mm -hmm keeping an eye on the game changer that you want to create and modify your solution and your approach accordingly based on the inputs and based on the surprises that are going to come your way, the good things and the bad things. Yeah, that was the other, that was the other issue was surprises you were talking about. So uh, uh, tell me about the role of surprise and, and being surprised, or pleasantly surprised, let's put it that way. There are some not so pleasant surprises you were talking about. Talk about the pleasant surprises. Uh, there's, two, there's two themes, really. The first is, if you want to create an innovation, if it's an innovation that people value, they're gonna be surprised by it in a positive way because it's gonna challenge some of their assumptions about what they thought was possible or, or kind of the value that they are gonna receive from it. So that's the first dimension. But the second dimension of surprise is really, as you go through and kind of chart uncharted territory, good things are gonna happen and bad things are gonna happen. Those are surprises. And you need to be able to respond to those good and bad things by seeing what the assumptions are that they're testing or challenging and, and just you know modifying your approach accordingly. Okay, well thanks very much for your time and, and for more information about innovation and what, what kind of innovations and trends are going on in the seafood industry, be sure to keep watching SeafoodSource.com right here for more videos from the 2013 International Boston Seafood Show.